Lesson 34, we're going to be subtracting mixed numbers again. So remember in our previous lesson, the steps were subtract the whole and subtract the fraction. So we're going to look at this again and get a little bit more practice, all right? So let's begin. I have five and two, six. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract the whole. So I'm going to take away three. Five and two, six minus three is two and two, six. Now I'm going to subtract the fraction. 2 and 2, 6 minus 5, 6. I know I'm going to have to regroup because 5, 6 is bigger than 2, 6, so I'm going to decompose 5, 6 into 2, 6. And what else gets me to 5, 6? 3, 6. 2, 6 minus 2, 6, that's nothing, right? So now I need to regroup this 2. So I'm going to have 1 and 6, 6. 1 becomes my whole. 6, 6 minus 3, 6 is 3, 6. Now remember, 3, 6 is not in simplest form. 3, 6 is equivalent to 1 half. 1 half is the simplest form of 3, 6. So the final answer here is 1 and 1 half if you were to put it in simplest form. All right? Let's try another one. Let's do 9 and 3 fifths minus two and four fifths. So I'm going to subtract the whole first, nine and three fifths minus two. That is equal to seven and three fifths. Now I'm going to take away the four fifths, seven and three fifths minus four fifths. Subtracting the fractions. Now I know that I'm going to have to regroup because my pieces that I'm taking away are, I have more of them than these pieces here. So I'm going to have to regroup this seven to make more fifths. All right, so let's decompose this four fifths into three fifths and one more fifth. Three fifths minus three fifths is nothing. So then I regroup the seven, six and five fifths. All right, six becomes your whole. Five fifths minus one fifth is four fifths. So my final answer is six and four fifths here. All right, let's try another one. Seven and three eighths minus two and two eighths. So first I'm going to take away this whole so 7 and 3 eighths minus 2 is equal to 5 and 3 eighths. All right, then I'm going to subtract the fraction. 5 and 3 eighths minus 2 eighths. I know I am not going to have to regroup because this 2 is less than the 3. So I can take 2 eighths from 3 eighths, so I don't need to regroup. So my whole will stay the same. And 3 eighths minus 2 eighths is 1 eighth. So my final answer here is 5 and 1 eighth. All right, I believe I have one more before it's your turn to practice. I have 6 and 4 tenths minus 3 and 8 tenths. So let's start by subtracting the whole. 6 and 4 tenths minus three. All right, here's the whole. So six minus three is three, and then I still have that four tenths left. Okay, so three and four tenths. And then I'm going to subtract this fraction. So I'm subtracting eight tenths. I know I'm going to have to regroup because eight tenths is more tenths than four tenths. So I'm going to have to break up this three to make more tenths. All right, so go ahead and decompose to get four tenths plus four tenths, okay? Four tenths minus four tenths is nothing. This three tenths decomposes to two and 10 tenths. My whole is two. 10 tenths minus four tenths is six tenths. And if I were to put that in simplest form, I would divide by the greatest common factor, that is two in this case, so I have three fifths. So my final answer in simplest form is two and three fifths. Now it's your turn. Three 
Three problems that I would like you to do tonight and bring tomorrow are 7 and 1 6 minus 2 and 2 6, 12 and 5 8 minus 3 and 7 8, and finally 6 and 3 8 minus 6 8. All right, and we'll see you tomorrow.